Hello, hello! It's Rebecca, and I will be setting up my bullet journal for June in this video. I just got back from seeing Monsta X in concert, but in a week's time, I'll be going to a concert for another Korean group called The Boys. In honor of the concert and the fact that The Boys have a lot of very fun summer songs, I thought it would be perfect to choose one of their songs for this month's theme. The one I decided to go for is a song that they released last year called Thrill Ride. In their music video, they have a lot of fun scenes at a water park or pool resort, so I tried my best to incorporate those aspects into this theme. Keep watching and let me know what you think of the theme! To kick off the cover page for this theme, I wanted to incorporate the lifeguard aspect from their comeback stage outfits. The first thing that came to my mind was a life preserver, so I drew that in the center of the page, and it was actually very simple to draw. I started drawing a large circle, but on the four sides of the circle, I drew a curved rectangle touching the edge of the large circle. Then I drew a small circle that would touch all four of the rectangles. Then to finish the doodle, I wanted to draw ropes that would be tied to the sides of the life preserver. I chose to draw two curved V-shapes connecting between each of the two rectangles so that there were four ropes around the life preserver. Moving on to coloring, I felt that the life preserver itself would be too plain, so I wanted to add in splash marks around it. I also felt like the water would be a fun touch that I could carry throughout the following spreads since it is a pool theme after all. For each of the splash marks, I started with curved teardrop shapes using different shades of blue. Then I added a couple of circles for bubbles near the teardrop shapes. For these splash marks in particular, I just tried to draw them identically to one another. Inside the life preserver, I wrote out June in a script font. Since I wrote it on top of the splash marks, I decided to make the downstrokes wider in order to see the word more clearly. I ended up using the script font throughout the theme. I already used blue for the splash marks on the page, but I decided that there was no other choice but red for the life preserver. As a result, I used a lighter shade to color in the doodle, skipping the rectangles. Then it's hard to see, but I took a darker shade of red to add a shadow to the bottom and right side of the life preserver. The finishing touch to the spread was a blue outline around the page with curved corners. You'll see that I freehanded the outline because I wanted this theme to just be more free-flowing and relaxed as if I was resting by the side of a pool. Then I layered washi tape in the bottom left and top right of the page before cutting off the extra sticking off the edge of the page. Also before I forgot, I used a white pen to add a line of highlighting to the life preserver on the top left section. Overall, I am very pleased with how the front page turned out. It was very simple, but I think the combination of the life preserver with the splash marks and the colors contrasting well against each other made this page turn out really well. Moving on to the song lyric spread, I chose some of the Korean lyrics, but when translated to English, they read, Follow the curiosity at the edge of your imagination. I believe it is one of Kevin's lines. The first thing that I drew on this page was a banner. I started with a curved rectangle and added two triangles under the rectangle. Then I extended one line from the edge of the triangle and one from the center of the rectangle before connecting those two lines with a V-shape to make the end of the banner. I colored the banner with a lighter red, but I used a darker shade for the triangles as the shadows. Then on the banner, I wrote FOLLOW in an all cap sans serif font. Similar to the script font I used on the cover, I made the vertical lines in the letters thicker. Then my camera went out of focus, so I'm going to skip over the clip where I wrote the curiosity under the banner. For the word the, I did a simple all caps font, but for curiosity, I used the script font from the cover page. For the rest of the lyrics on the page, I used the same three styles of fonts. I wrote the lyrics for the rest of the page while switching between the different fonts, and they read, at the edge of your imagination. I think for the longest time, I listened to a variety of Korean artists, but I never got invested in groups unless they had a hand in writing or producing their music. The Boys was one of the exceptions to that because I love their energy and group dynamics in their content, and you could see that they are very, very hardworking. Lately, I've been really enjoying seeing their names pop up in the music credits. Like for this song, Sunwoo and Eric wrote some of the lyrics. 
I drew splash marks and circles similar to the cover page around the lyrics at the edge. Finally, I matched the cover page and drew a blue curved border around the page. I really like these lyrics in the song because they're very encouraging. I've always liked lyrics or quotes that push you to shoot for your goals and dreams, so I think that this quote falls in that category. For the next spread, I wrote out June in the script font at the top of the page. Then next to the word June, I drew a splash doodle like from the previous pages. To the right of the header, I drew a summer drink with a lemon and a straw sticking out of it, starting with a fine liner before coloring it with Tombow's. Next, I wrote out the headers for my focus on the left-hand side of the page, as well as the headers for the days of the week across the page. Using the blue Tombow from the previous pages, I underlined the word focus and started drawing the boxes on the calendar. I also highlighted the top of each box and wrote the dates on the calendar with my pen. On the bottom left of the spread, I drew a palm tree using my Tombow's starting with the outline of the trunk and leaves. When I was coloring the doodle, I tried to add some shading to the leaves and some darker brown lines on the trunk. After that, I added the splash marks above the tree before starting on the doodle on the bottom right of the page. For that doodle, I chose to do beach balls. I started with a big circle and a small one a bit off-center. From the small circle, I drew six curved edges towards the outline of the bigger circle. Then I colored every other section on the beach balls with red for one and yellow on the other. I decided to add splash marks above the doodle and also outline the tree with a fine liner since the other doodles were outlined as well. Finally, I added some washi tape in the bottom left and top right corners to complete the monthly spread. Now like the last couple of months, I made a 4 week weekly spread by cutting off the side of the page to make a Dutch door. At the top left of the page, I wrote June in the script font. Then I decided to add a mini calendar to the left of the spread, so I highlighted where I'll write the header of the days of the week as well as the notes section. For the doodles on the spread, I started by drawing sunglasses in the bottom left. It was two ovals connected by a couple rectangles and curved lines. Then, I also added small half circles on the bottom of the doodle as well as a tiny rectangle on each of the sides of the sunglasses to be the connectors and frame of the sunglasses. On the right hand side, I drew some additional doodles. The first one was a ticket that you might see at an amusement park. It started as a rectangle with uneven edges. To make the edge, I drew a dotted line and connected each of the dotted lines with half circles. On the ticket, I wrote the words Thrill Ride as a nod to the song that inspired the theme. Up next, I drew a pineapple which was an oval with curved leaves sticking out of the top. The last doodle in the bottom right corner was a life preserver because I wanted to bring back the original doodle from the cover page. For coloring, I started on the sunglasses with a light gray on the lenses and a light brown for all of the other parts. On the ticket, I used a lighter shade of red for the area with the words and a darker red for the border. I started with yellow on the pineapple, but I used a light brown to draw the curved lines within the oval of the pineapple. Then I used the same shades of red from the cover to color in the life preserver. The spread as a whole felt kind of plain, but there wasn't quite enough space to do those splash marks. Instead, I drew blue circles around the page to be like bubbles. Next, I went ahead and wrote the dates in the mini calendar, the notes header, and started on the sections for the days of the week. I highlighted each of the headers alternating between different shades of blue and then wrote the day of the week and the date on it. Now, I started giving some small life updates in all of my bullet journal videos because I was uploading sort of infrequently, but I found I enjoy this section of the video because it lets me look back and see how I was feeling or what I was looking forward to each month. I mentioned it at the beginning of this video, but I kicked off the concert season with a Monsta X concert recently. I was very overwhelmed with the 17 comeback and the boys Japanese comeback as well. 
My next stop will be some travel to New York as well as going to the boys concert. BTS will also be dropping their anthology album next month, so June should be another month filled with K-pop. I'm also hoping to get through more of my backlog of videos like the last vlog I posted. I hope you all enjoy that content because there will be more of those soon. Last but not least, I remembered to add the white pen highlighting on the life preserver. I am very happy with how this weekly spread turned out. Looking back at the spread, I really like how this pool resort theme inspired by the boys' thrill ride song turned out. I think it's a very fun theme for the summer and the doodles all make me very happy when I look at them. If you were watching for inspiration, I hope that this was helpful, otherwise I hope that this video was able to bring you some relaxation. Thank you for watching, stay healthy, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!